This is the plaintiff, Carrie Bocci. She says she was hired by the defendant to set up a booth and sell her homemade honey and salad dressing. She also worked at the event for her, and now over four months later still hasn't been paid. That's right, it's not the American way, and she wants every penny of the hard-earned $315 she's owed. This is the defendant, Ivy Lawson. She says the plaintiff's trying to overcharge and is also attempting to charge her for something she wasn't supposed to be paid for. The woman's a real kook who even called the health department to complain she licked her fingers. Huh? Bottom line, she knows this is a sticky situation, but she doesn't owe the plaintiff all this money and isn't gonna pay. She's accused of not being a honey. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Carrie Bocci, Hi. you are suing Ivy Lawson for $315 that you say you are owed, and she refuses to pay you for your services, correct? Correct. What happened? Uh, I had met her at a Boston public market. It's a market for local vendors. Uh, met her at a different vendor. We started talking. She showed me her booth, and I had walked by it many times. I do staging. So I had a okay, discussion. Okay, so slow down. What is your booth? Um, it, it's a temporary uh, booth that you uh, sell. What I sell honey and derived honey derived products. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, you do staging. Explain what staging is. So to make it more appealing, more visible, more attractive, to have customers walk up to it rather than walking by it. Make it look better. Yes. Okay, to attract customers. All yes. right. And when you say I do staging. When have you done staging? Like, what qualifies you to do staging? Um, I freelance as creative director, makeup artist. I do photo shoots, things of that nature. Okay. So what happened? So I had met her. We had a discussion. I had told her that I thought she had a great product, but her visibility of it uh, was pretty much null and void. Um, we had a discussion. We agreed on $200 to do it. We shook on it. And then she had asked me to come back later and work uh, an event that was coming up, which was Edible Boston. So f the fee for doing the staging was $200? Correct. And according to you, the fee for doing the staging was what? $100. <laughs> she was moving two tables. And well, I said, you don't need her to move two tables. So you're not going to pay somebody. Here, move those two tables. Here's $100. Right. So that doesn't sound believable. Well, no, she said to me she can do the staging. And I said, I have no more than $100 to put into this. And she said, ah, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Okay. Do either of you have witnesses to the conversation? No, but right, that so wasn't what the happened. conversation. Okay. Yeah, I know. Was not, was too. All right. Now, what else happened? Um, so we had agreed on the price, and we agreed that I would be coming and going, getting familiar with her product. I had worked with her uh, marketing um, gentleman as well. He was there. What does that mean? So he was there working the booth, and they had a uh, product descriptions. So I sat with him, and we had discussed different ways to do that, got familiar with the product. I talked to customers, rearranged, cleaned. Organized. Oh, I have you're talking about what went into the staging? Yeah. Okay, got it. And then what happens? Then uh, there was another event coming up, and she says to you what? So basically, a lot of this was for the event. So she asked me if I would work the event. She told me she would pay me minimum wage, $11 an hour for that event, and that she always pays her people. She's not like anybody else that doesn't pay. I worked the event. She wasn't there. She was off drinking most of the event. And then when the night came to a close, she told me she forgot her paycheck. I sent her an her invoice. Checkbook? Yeah, she, yeah, sorry. Oh, she her, forgot, she her, forgot checkbook. her checkbook? Yep. And, uh -huh. and then I sent her an invoice in September. She told me her payroll was closed for September, October, and then it just went from there. She and was going to pay. Never paid. Yeah. Do you have texts from her saying, I'll pay you, I'll pay you? Yeah, I have, an, I have the uh, email invoice as well. Uh, email I invoice? I had sent her uh, an email and with the invoice. And what was her response? She'll send the check out. So she agreed okay, to so the amount. Okay, so why didn't you pay it? Um, I try to pay her, but that's not how the story went. Okay. I have a protocol for people who work for my company. They get interviewed. They get drug tested. None of that happened. So she did not work for the company. We agreed on staging. Right. That's She's it. not an employee of your company. She's not saying that. She wants to get paid for her services. Yeah, and she I She says tried. you hired her, and when she sent you a bill, let me see the bill you sent and the email she sent in response. You didn't say, what are you talking about? I've never met you before. You said, yeah, I'll send you the money, and then you didn't. So what no, happened? I, no, I did send her the money. What happened? Tell I, me everything I, that happened. I told her that she was uh, talking to me in the middle of September. I have a small business. 
all my spending was over for September. So I said I would send out a check to her on October 1st. It's a small business. It's not, we don't generate a lot of money. So is that what payroll is closed means? You just ran yes, out of dough? Exactly. Okay. Well, exactly. You know, okay. it's, Sorry, it's, it's, it's the way it is. It's, um, you know, I didn't have any more money, extra money, because she's talking That's to fine, me. That's fine, but we're not in October. Okay, well, let me, can I? <laughs> yeah, but All why right. has it passed? So, you're, like, so, you're telling me, well, that's why I didn't pay her September. Now get to why you didn't pay her in October. I sent her a check. She refused when it. When did you send her a check? I sent her a check October 1st. The check was returned to me. It, um, it was returned to me, uh, non-deliverable. Then I sent, I went to go meet her on... How was it non-deliverable? I don't know. I don't know. So why did you say so, she refused? I, she refused the second, the second check I sent her. Okay, so you're going to get to that. So yeah. So you went to meet yeah. her. So first of all, we discussed no um, amount, $11 an hour. She's, I, we had no discussion of that. Um, well, what was she supposed to get paid? A hundred dollars for staging. For the, no, for I the, mean for the actual event, for being at the she event. She was not working the event. She was not supposed to work the event. Was, she did came. the staging happen on the same time as the event? No, a couple of days. The event was on Tuesday. She came on Friday, I believe, on Saturday. So and did, did she the come staging. to the event? Yeah, she asked me. What was the she, point of her coming to the event? She asked me, could she come? She's never been to an event like this before. It was a private event put on by Boston, uh, Edible Boston. She said, can she come in? And I said, yeah, you can come in, and I'll, you can come in, and I will let you in. Did but she, she, was she at your booth? She hung around the booth, but she wasn't working. Did she hang around on the inside of the booth or outside where a patron would? Your Honor, I had three people working that Is night. Is she on the inside, yes or no? Some of the time she was. So how much of the time was she on the inside of the booth? The event was from 5 to 10, I believe. And she was probably um, on the inside maybe an hour and 10 minutes. Doing what? Just hanging around, just, you know, moving, stop, you know, the, the staging that she had done. She had some lights that she put on there. She was adjusting them. Um, you know, she went to the Christmas tree shop and got some dishes and some, some plates that I never asked her to get. And moreover, what she brought, I couldn't even use because they were plastic. And, you know, our heating tray is, is heat, it's water, it's steam. So you can't put plastic in there. So what was I going to use it for? So, and I had now, my, your I had invoice porcelain. that you sent her by email, you never were charging for, you're suing here for $20 for plastic plates and $40 for wasting your time. Okay. When do I get paid for that? The $20 for plastic plates, that wasn't in your original invoice, right? It should have been uh, $12. So why are you suing for $20? It must be a misprint on there. It was $12. I have the receipt for it, too. Okay. So in your invoice to her, do you mention anything about the, because it, it, I, I thought that that was an afterthought for you about the, the plates, no? The plates, well, when we were going to the event, I had been out, I had seen them, I brought them in, I had different ones, and I asked her if she wanted to use any of them. She said it was her favorite color, how did I know? And she bought all three dishes. She said she would buy them and pay for them because they were on sale. So she has the dishes. And that's she $12? Yeah, they were on sale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you paid her anything? Your Honor, um, how can you pay somebody when they're refusing? I sent her Tell the Tell me about how she refused to be paid. Okay, so I sent first her... First of all, you said you sent her the first time, and it came back undeliverable. Right. May I see proof of that? Oh, sure. I didn't even open it. <sighs> May I open your mail? Yeah. I need that so the feds don't chase me. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. This is on October 1st, and this is a staging $210. I never saw anything. So if you had agreed to 100 then I would expect to see a check that said 100 or so 155 for her work. Right. Why am I seeing 210 Okay, so... Can, if I can No, you, you can know. answer the question okay. I just asked you. Because when she sent me the email, I saw the email and I said to myself, oh my God, I can't believe she just, you know, she's trying to screw me out of and, $110 more. So I, I'm, a, I'm a business person. I just said, okay, I'll send her $210. Because it wasn't, um, you know, I, I wasn't trying to be controversial with her. What day was the day of the Boston Edible event? It was um, the 13th September, 13th of September. Of September? 13th. Mm -hmm. Okay. You send her an email saying, I love that Thai dressing. Mm -hmm. Bought a bottle. It's great. Did you bring some? 
<laughs> Invoices for services, $200 for staging burlap bags and lightings. Mm -hmm. Owed for hours worked. The event. Tuesday, September 16th, hours 4 through 9. $12 for green bowl dishes. Mm -hmm. And then there's nothing in writing about what the hours would be? No. Okay. And you're suing for the minimum wage? For what we agreed to. Right. And, okay. So now... Uh, she sends you 210, but you never see that. It's undeliverable. Why? Because it says return to sender, not deliverable as address. Is there an address 304? Is that? Yep. That's okay. correct. I've never had an email refused. I don't know why either. I don't know. All right. So it's not anybody's fault. All right. So then what happens is if this had gotten there, maybe we wouldn't Well, I never <laughs> received anything. So right. I had sent her a couple more emails. I didn't get a response. So that whole, it's in the mail, it's in the mail, and you thought that she was lying was actually true. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Would you sue somebody, take the time to go to court for 315 bucks? Yes, I would. 315? Yes. Is that worth it to you? Yes, that's a card note. That's a fair point, but it does take a day. Yes, it does, but it's the, it's the point. I gave it to you. I want mine back. The principle. Yeah. Got your point? You're nodding no. No, I wouldn't. 500. Thousand. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Attempt number one to pay. Then there's an attempt number two. Tell me about that. Okay. So the next day was Wednesday. I was going to be out of a town on Thursday. So on Wednesday, I took all the stuff that she had bought, the dishes, and I, met, I went to the post office. I bought a money order. Cause now she lost sixty dollars because of the way she spoke to me. So I bought it for hundred. Because what of the world way, are you living in where you call the shots like that? Well, she she was she was really rude and obnoxious. She was calling me. A so you decided to dock her sixty dollars. So I said that's I'm what gonna, you get. You lost sixty dollars well, because the way you talked to her. Well, 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 I mean, are you it, kidding me? Well, no, I'm not kidding. I I just thought that I owe hundred dollars. I was giving her what she asked for because. Okay, so I thought what she did was, you send her? So I sent her all the stuff that she had um you know bought. Uh, some burlap bags that she left in the market. Um, I sent her a box with it, and I bought the money order for $150 at the post office. This is on Wednesday, and I mailed it off at the post office. And then you receive it. Uh, the box looked like if someone pulled it out of a dumpster. It was open, and I refused it. I wasn't waiting for a box. I was waiting for a check. Okay. The check was in the box. So, yeah, yeah. I know you've tried to pay her, but uh, apparently you've paid her less, and you paid her no wages. Because the first check has no wages, even though the email says it. Nowhere there do you say, what are you talking about? You didn't work for me. What do you mean hours work? What do you mean you're owed four to nine? None of that. You say you're sending a check. All right, so the only yeah. question I have to answer is how much do you owe her? And I find that you owe her the 212 and the 55 uh, and that's $267. That's the email she sent you, and you said, I'm going to pay it. And then, uh, you know, then things get nasty, and then um, she won't open up a box because she doesn't want to know what's in there. In fact, as I understand it correctly from your t from your complaint, you actually asked the postman to open it up. I asked him if I, because the box was open, I asked him if I could look inside and they said no, so I made him give me the order number showing that I couldn't touch it because I don't trust her. <laughs> okay, you're a little flaky. Okay, seriously, just get paid, all right? Because court is not, this is not efficient way to get paid. <sighs> It okay. wasn't my choice. It's, I understand. This wasn't your fault. It wasn't her fault either. But that was kind of weird. I mean, you know, what do you think she's going to do? Drop a bomb? I mean, it's, you know. Well, All right. she could stop, say she put stop. something Everybody in Everybody stop. Verdict for the plaintiff, $267. You don't get $40 for time wasted. So the plaintiff gets a judgment for $260. Ms. Lawson, the defendant, if you'll step over here. You'd already sent her a check for $210. What happened to the check? Did you cancel payment on it or what? No, I didn't. It's still good? Sure. Interesting. But it wasn't delivered. But anyway, look, it's she a shame. Work, she didn't work for the company. <laughs> no, we understand that. There's a we protocol. She, you get interviewed and you get, you know, she didn't right. work for the company. All right. Well, That's thank all. you very much. Okay. I know yeah. you obviously you did try and pay her. The door sure. is that way. Thank you very much. Now here comes Ms. Bacci. You know, a lot of people may be watching this thinking, gee, well, you were crazy not to open the box. Why wouldn't you open that package? It looked like someone pulled it out of a dumpster, and I didn't trust her. Didn't trust her for what? To she what? She had lied. She had said she had done things. But she said she said something. What, what, it, if someone, what did if you someone, think could have been in there? I don't know. I didn't want it. It wasn't waiting for a box. There was a check in there for you. A check would have come in an envelope. Well, a lot of people are thinking you're kind of stupid. It's okay. You know? It's okay. Really a shame. You might That's not fine. have had to come to court. They can think all they want. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. All right, Harvey, how about that? 
Okay, Doug, look, when you do work for somebody um, and it's a stranger, you have got to get some kind of an email describing the kind of work you're going to do and the exact payment you're going to get. That will do it for this case. Let again, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.